Whether or not you're familiar with succulents, it doesn't matter. I just thought I would do a video on my favorite way to make my succulents mobile. Now why would you want to make them mobile? Well, for a number of reasons. Namely, if you can't commit to a certain container, which sometimes I can't, I have some favorites like this one where I, I got this a few weeks ago and I still haven't been able to plant it because I just can't commit. I don't know if I want succulents in here. I don't know if I want something else, a little scene. I don't really know. The other thing is no mess. If you don't want to create a mess, which frequently if you're using soil, you can. Or if you have containers like this one that has a bunch of holes. This one is wicker, something maybe that doesn't have any drainage. If I got the way to kind of faux plant your succulents, or you can pick them up, take them anywhere. And there's a, there's a whole bunch of reasons why you might wanna do this, and stay tuned after I show you this. I'm gonna share with you some really sweet uses for this, and then also how to take care of them when you, when you plant them this way. So without further ado, you can do this with uh, succulents that have roots, and also ones that you've beheaded, like this little guy. I've already cut him, the, the roots, I've already cut the roots off. It's, it's really easy, you don't need a whole lot of stuff. All you need is some moss, some sm uh, sphagnum moss, which really retains moisture very nicely and then also dries out just as quickly, which your succulent will love. And then also wire. I like to use wire, this is like a plastic coated wire, and it just happens to be the same exact color as the moss that I'm using, which will be really great. And then you take like a little pile of moss, you lay the root ball in the moss, and then you can add some more moss on top. Create kind of like a little, uh, little ball. You can also do this with a full, um, with soil around the root ball as well. You can do that, it'll just make a larger kind of root mass and I want these to be relatively small so I can put them pretty much anywhere. A little tiny mummy but this one of the great uses for something like this is for any succulent if you want to use it on a corsage or a boutonniere this is perfect like this you probably want to you could use string and then even wrap it with uh, ribbon around there to make it look pretty but it would uh, stay together very nicely and after the event this can be kept so just remove the ribbon because you want airflow to get in through here and that's why if you use string or this wire there's still plenty of room for airflow and the water will get in real nice you don't want to completely encrust it with ribbon or uh, string or even wire and, and leave it there for any extended period of time Watering is super simple. Either I use a medicine dropper or a little water mister. Or just dunk the stem in water for a moment or two. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you leave me a comment and let me know what is your favorite way to plant your succulents.